Assalamu alaikum, this is Abdul Wakil Azadi and I would like to welcome you to the second lecture of organization development. Uh, growth and relevancy of organization development. When you are talking about growth and relevancy of organization development, we think about, we, we say that every organization must have the nature of the adaptability in order to incorporate, in order to deal with the complex and uncertain uncertain changes coming to the market whether that is technological economical political and culture changes if any organization having lack of capabilities of adopting with the uncertain changes that company will be unable to survive in the market if you look back and observe from the last of from the last of many years the changes are incorporated in the market the changes are incorporated in the market uncertainly and increasingly and with the complexity which becomes which becomes a threat for all those organization which are there tend to mean that they are static nature will be giving a itch for them but unfortunately for them it's a difficult to survive only those company will survive those have the nature of adaptability and those have the nature of flexible and changing their self according to the trend of the market three major trends which shaping the organizations with change in organizations shaping change in organization number one globalization number two information technology number three managerial innovation globalization today companies or today businesses are become globalized today company business are become globalized so now if that become a globalized so it will be a threat for those local companies which are with your which they are operating, practicing their business activities in their apparent or local countries. Now, globalization is another trends of changing phenomena. As the businesses are becoming globalized, so definitely, for example, if a European company comes to your country, your Asian country, operating that so definitely that company will come with a huge investment and it ma that would be a threat for a local or domestic company for for the sake of for the sake of survival that domestic company will change itself change itself and coming in a the market with a competitive nature with a competition nature now if that company domestic company did not change itself that company will be disappeared if you look at the information technology today today is the era of information technology everything is available accessible easily accesses on information information is easily accessible if if a country want to operate its new or you know uh, establish a new business in any country without observing without going to that come without going to uh, evaluate that country their nature their the people their demographically you know their uh, economically or politically so without any without any uh, investing on their research to go there and observe that they can easily they can easily with the help of with the help of you know we have a loss of Google with the help of good if with the help of Google you can access anything about any, any information about that company that country where he where that company want to operate it you can get a loss of information from that uh, about that com that about that country so it's easily accessible information is easily accessible 
now information today time right now information technology is completely the change the nature of the work now it's changed the, the redefined traditional to the technological now today we are not using a manual diaries to record the our activities record our record our all our our activities yeah but with the help of technology we record all the things in the past in banking system there was a manual banking right now it is computerized technological change te computerized so in the past people one transaction will be done by many people but right now with the help of one click you can do all you can do on many transactions now technological changes are incorporated it's completely redefine the work of the people that how you can do the work how you have to do your work now it's changed the nature of your working managerial innovation and another things managerial innovation managerial innovation it will be not able to do a manager will not able to do anything without concerning without having information without knowing about information technology without knowing on globalization that manager will be unable to bring any changes into the market into its business in organization if a manager want to bring innovation he must have then he must have information regarding technology he must know about globalization so that so that he or she will make proper decisions accurate decisions what to do what not to do and how to do that because they are operating in a competitive market now manager innovation being a manager if you want to bring innovation you are not able to bring innovation by your own self you have to be incorporated with your subordinates you have to give time time freedom of speech to your subordinates you have to give value to the ideas of your subordinates you have to let your subordinates to talk to give you precious ideas if you are unable unable to make to make your subordinates to talk or if you are simply we can say if your leadership style is completely opposite of opposite of the needs of your subordinates you are unable then you are unable to make any innovations in your many in your organization so the most important thing is that if you want to bring innovation if you want to bring any changes in your organizations you have to take you have to concern your subordinates then it will be able to bring innovations now with the help of the your subordinates you can change the the nature of your work that whatever you want the way of your dealing that cult the structure the design of your organizations now you can say that globalization is a changing that the market environment in which organization operate in the way they function definitely globalization is a changing the markets and in environments which organizations operate look if the if your market is a national market it's not a global market the markets will be and the nature of your market and the environment will be different if the market become a globalized if the market become a globalized then the market and the environment will completely change it will be completely change then it will be a tough 
competition tough competition between you and multinational companies between the domestic product and multinational products because under the one roof you will get many similar products with different brand names many brands will be from international brands many brands from our local brands so definitely people will switch over the international brands because they are very much effective and comparatively you are a domestic brand now for cracking the market so you have to make your product you have to change your product design change the product the uh, you know the the product or its flavor the design the cap uh, you have to make it improve it now improvement what you want to bring in it that will for the sake of the changes that you bring now changes this is for the sake of betterment of organization the changes that you are incorporating it that is for the betterment of the organization that is for the betterment of your organization to survive why we are talking about changes changes for the sake of to bring a betterment in your organizations comparatively and to compete with your competitor new governments like as globalization comes that new governments new leadership new markets new countries are emerging and creating a new global economy now simply we thinking that today economy is become today the economy became globalized now it is completely globalized economy now companies are earning revenue from multi from different countries not they are not generated from only one country they are generated from different countries because they are operating in a more diff a lots of different countries if you take an example of if you take an example of if you take an example of iphone mcdonalds something there is a lot of companies which their headquarters are in another country but but they have but they have franchises in many and their business or their business you know their business are expanded in many other comp- many other countries their revenues are generated a loss of more than 100 more than 100 countries from more than 100 countries they are generating the revenue now as we can see that the economy is became globalized information technology information technology is a redefined traditional business model by changing how work is formed perform how knowledge is used and how cost of doing business is calculated as we as i told you that with the, with information technology as information came so you know it's completely redefined the nature of your work the nature of your you know right now i'm sitting in my room and recording my lecture and sending to and sending to you and you are listening or is another technology now now the work is you know the work the work the pattern of work is completely different now it's online online delivering lectures i recording my lectures and delivering and sending you back so that is another the trend is change now the way of work working you know you know look that the work the way of doing my work is change rather than coming going to uh, from one place to another then sitting there giving lecture so now it's completely virtual the way organizations collects stores manipulates use of transmit information and lower the cost increase the value and quality of products and services look any organization if any organization use the information appropriately 
so that organization will bring the effectiveness of its product and as well as its services if is it if that company use it properly appropriately it will helps that organization if any organization use the information properly if that information manipulated actual and realistic way if any any organization manipulate the information in a realistic way and believe that that organize that information which i'm manipulating that is a actually it is that organization will be succeeded and as well as crack the market because information came from the market from the customer now customers are there and you are here you list you know you heard from a customer their need and wants that their needs is this now you think about that now you thinking now you are coming with the product of similarly according to their needs and wants of your customer the customer will buy your product and use it and fulfill their needs so actually you with the help of properly manipulating the information you grab the nature of your customer you grab the nature of your target market people information technology for example uh, is the heart of emerging e-commerce strategies and organization like uh, amazon e-trade ebay um the many recent entrance to information tech economy an amount of business being conducted on the internet is a project to grow at double digit rate in well over 10 years now doing business toward internet is completely different now it gives the edge it gives them uh you know if you look at the today market today market those who are taking the help of internet and advertising their products or reaching out their target market and there in those who are investing too much on internet marketing internet business within a within the years as business will grow as business will grow because today everyone wants easily accessible now as amazon do as amazon ebay alibaba all these things they are you can easily accessible easily accessible just click on see and observe just um, with the help of your debit card you will get the product the product will come to your doorstep with a by the free delivery so that's easy the business are very easy now that become you know that make uh, that you know that's uh, they're trying to make it more effective and you know with the help of internet marketing rather than door to door you have to go to our internet marketing and get the pool of people toward your product the ability to move information easily in expansive throughout the among organization and has operated downsizing and derailing and restructuring forms information or easily accessible now with the help of information now it also affect on uh, downsizing derailing or restructuring of your forms now in the past people were doing one work by many people now it's 
with the help of one person you can do all your work now it's downsizing that you know uh, cut you know you cut off your main power derailing the you know the re the the layer that you have established the hierarchy that you have established now with the help of information technology now one person can do all the work now no need for extra people extra people to work with you not you dealing with that now in the past your structure your organization structure will flat now it is completely different now you change the structure you like you change from horizontal to vertical your vertical to horizontal now you change your shape of you restructure your form like you decrease you downsize the people you derail that and you limit the people you think that these are the limited people can do all the work no need to hire a loss of irrelevant main power which creates which creates for you a problem or maybe technological problem but that is not the case that you have you have to go for cut off no, you have also other strategy that you can use that uh, rather than downsizing you know, but and with the help of information now manual traditional way comes to computerize now if a five person doing one word now computerize come with the help of computer one person can do all the work so no need of four persons so now you are downsize that internet and world wide web have enabled a new work a new form of work known as telecom telecommunicating organization members can work for from their homes and or cars without ever going to office now as i talked about that now it is completely changed the nature of your work now people are doing the work from their home rather than going is uh, taking cars and going to the office and sitting there and start working no so they doing directly doing the work from their ho- home home their office like as i'm doing recording my lecture from home rather than going to the university information technology is changing how knowledge is used information that is widely shared reduce the concentration of power at the top of the organization now now centralization of power is removed it's reduced centralization of power And now look, you are sitting in your home and doing your work from your home, so only one person can authorize or only one person can give you directions rather than a loss of people. No, only one person or, or two person will give you direction. Or only one person who will, will be moderating your work, you are observing, he will be observing you rather than every other person who observe, who would dealing with you. It did become a centralized of power. that become centralized the power is become centralized with the help of information technology the power is become centralized members now share the same key information that the senior managers once used to control decisions making another is very important thing that information you know members now share the same key information that senior managers Members are trying to use the key information with your senior manager for the sake of decision making. Now another important thing is that that is decision making. Now decisions making for. Now without any information, how a manager can make a decisions? Now for them, for making a proper decisions, they must manager must need information. Now the members will share the key information. for the sake of a manager should a manager should take proper decision managerial innovation managerial innovation has responded to globalization and information technology ten trends and has accelerated their impact on organizations new organization forms such as network strategic alliances virtual corporate 
corporations provide organizations with a new ways of thinking about how to manufacture goods and deliver the services. Managerial innovation, as we talked about, that managerial innovation is very much important. It will be unable. It will be unable. Unable to implement it without having knowledge of globalization and information technology. Manager must respond to globalization and technology, machine technology in order to in order to bring innovation. As globalization comes, information technology comes, the organization will do what? New organization will form such as you will trying to do networks, strategic alliances, virtual corporations. That is that is that what managers should do. Make a networks, make a strategic alliances, virtual corporations, provide organizations with a new way of thinking and how to manufacture goods and services goods goods and deliver the services. These things, these activities will perform by managers, but unless and until if that uh, company that manager has uh, knowledge of globalization and information technology otherwise he will be unable to bring to make network strategic alliances virtual corporations virtual co virtual cor corporations provide organizations or, or new way of thinking how and even how manufacture goods and deliver the services that is difficult for them unless and until the managers having idea strategic alliances alliance for example he has emerged as one of the essential tool for a strategy strategy implementation another thing that strategic alliances has emerged one one of the essential tool that strategy of implementation if you have no strategic alliances definitely sometimes you must you know strategic alliances very very important you know many many companies they are strategic they, they become strategically partner with one another for the sake of to help without one another to survive in the market because if you have no strategic alliances with any other company you will be that will be difficult for you to bring any changes any innovation to the market no single organizations not in even ibm and Math Bosch or general electric or can control the environment and market uncertainty faces that's that's a cut that's very clear that no one can control the environmental market uncertainty it faces simple technological economical culture and political these were uncertain changes which no one can control these things but you can only cope or deal with that rather than to control managers look managers or practitioners researchers argue that these forces are not only or are powerful in their own right but are interrelated look all the practitioners managers researchers they all there's they they argue that that these the challenges these are these are the challenges these challenges are powerful or even they are interrelated they are interrelated they are in truck their interaction makes for highly uncertain, chaotic environment for all kinds of organization. Political, economical, social, and cultural. These are the factors, these are the factors which is are interrelated and uncertain. And that's definitely then can affect all every kind of organization that will be affected by them including manufacturing service firms 
those in the public private sector whether that's a public and private sector there is no question that these forces are profoundly affecting organizations there is no question that these forces are profoundly affecting the organization a growing number of organizations are undertaking the kinds of organizational changes need to be need to survive and prosper and prosper in today's environment you know it means that if you want to survive in the market you cannot control it you cannot avoid it you have only one way to deal with that you have to deal with that you have to cope with that you have to take an action toward it if the market is changing you have to change yourself if the political change comes you have to change yourself if the economical change comes you have to change it if the cultural change comes you have to change your culture so see change yourself according to the external environment bring changes internally internal organization your internal environment should be relevant to the external environment then you will be able to survive otherwise you will not be able to survive in the market they are involving employees in key decisions and paying for performance rather than for time they are taking the initiative and innovate innovating in awaiting and managing change rather than simply responding to what has already happened look as we talk about managerial innovation without involving of employees in your key decisions it will be difficult to bring any innovative change in men and innovative changes so you have to if you want to bring changes you have to involve your subordinates in your key decisions organization development is playing an increasingly key role in helping organization change themselves look organization development is a playing a very key role Role in helping organization to change themselves. Organization development tells you that how to change, how to make your organization better, how to make your organization better. The main theme of the organization development work is how to make your organization better in order to deal with the changes, in order to deal with the challenges. So it is a thing that you might have think of that that what doesn't then what about the organization? what mean what organization change look organization change you know organization change organization development and change what what about the change management change management is something else change management is a part of organization development but organization development is not a part of change management because in change management you go for you go for quality bring changing in quality product structure but that is in here the actually development is completely is holistic nature we talk about when i should develop is is having nature of holistic nature holistic nature rather than individual it helping organization assess themselves their environment and regenerate and rebuild their strategy and structure and process look organizations organization development is assess themselves it helping organizations to assess themselves their environment their environment and regenerate and rebuild the strategy structure and process simple that organization development tells you that assess yourself observe your structure observe your operations whether your operations is according to the environment according to the cult or according to the market or not if your operations or processes or 
not according to the market according to demand of the time according to trends of the market so it will be difficult for you to survive for survival you have to change yourself or rebuild the strategies rebuild the structure rebuild the process if that is not relevant to the market so the Ganeshi development only give you an assessment tell you that assess yourself assess you are not only assess yourself but also assess your organization organizations development is a helping organization members go beyond surface changes to transform the underlying assumptions and values governing their behaviors look organization development Organization development is helping organization members. Talking is also giving the members. Members go beyond the surface changes to transform the underlying assumptions and values governing their behavior. It's not only, you know, not only your organization, the structure. Or the strategies in the process but also is also giving the indication giving the direction of your members that they have to change their, your members have to change themselves too they must transform yourself too now Currently, as we discussed about organization, growth and relevancy, relevancy of organization's development. And growth and relevancy of organization development, as we talked about that, that organization must have the nature of adaptability, must have the nature of, that they must have the capacity to change themselves according to external environment. In the here we discussed about that that no organization can control or decrease the uncertainty of economical political legal and social and cultural changes but you have to cope with that you have to deal with the net with the culture with the culture changes as we discussed about that, that three major trends which affect on your organization change, that change your organizations if they are, if they are, number one, globalization, as businesses are becoming globalized, so that give you a signal to change yourself in order to cope or in order to deal with the changing, in order to deal with the global changing terms or survive in the market. Information technology comes. Now, information technology, by, by coming to information technology, by information technology trends, is tell you that the trend is a change, it's a redefined from traditional to technological change now it means it tell you that uh, redefine your business strategy your structure your way of dealing from traditional to the technological managerial innovation in managerial innovation it tells you that you are being a manager you must be a flexible you must have the leadership of you must have a leadership according to the your subordinates according to the nature of your subordinates in order to in order to bring the innovations and here we discussed about that innovativeness will not come unless and until unless and until if you give free hands free hands to your subordinates or yeah, give power of speech of 
freedom of speech to our subordinates then you are able to bring that as we discussed about that organization development is not it tells you that it's give you that it gives you us as an assessment is help you out organization development help you out to assess yourself your organization yourself your your organization your members that where you need to be a better so simply said that organization development is for the betterment for effectiveness to bring effectiveness in your organization is help you out to bring effectiveness in your organizations it tells you that what are the where you need to improve where you need to bring change in, it, in yourself so that survive in the market i hope you understand thank you for your listening